Civil Rights Christianity and Donuts. It's Ignite's homecoming special extravaganza is coming right at you. Stay tuned. What's up, guys, and welcome to another episode of Ignite's Homecoming Special Extravaganza, where we're going to be bringing you an episode every single day because we have no lives. I'm Demisa Moyo. Let's get started. Last week, Dr. John Perkins came to our school to grace us with his magical presence to tell us more about his experience in the civil rights movement. Now, luckily, Ignite got a chance to interview this man to talk to us more and possibly inspire a new generation of Lee students who are aware of the issue of race in America. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Demisa Moyo here with Ignite News in front of the man, Dr. John Perkins, to talk more about the issue of race in America. Now, Dr. Perkins, I know that in Dr. King's writing, um, Stride Toward Freedom, he speaks about a willingness to accept suffering without retaliation. Now, you lived in such a traumatic and oppressive era of racism. How did you manage to live through that nonviolently? Torture is a, is a unique type of persecution because it brings you to the place of death and you know you're going to be killed. They, you do th three things there. You tell the truth, you tell a lie, and you say whatever the torture wants you to say. So I think the key to overcoming it is coming into the place that you can forgive. You make that decision to serve Christ and to love him back but there are decisions you have to keep making throughout life. If you can tie forgiveness with that, you, each one of those. It's almost, and I'm very careful with it, there is a small post-racist group of people appearing on the scene. But what we're doing, we're still using it when it's advantage, my black thing, your white thing, you can't understand my thing. You, you, you know, and all of that is dehumanizing people. It's saying that you can't be like me. White kids can't jump. <laughs> you know, black kids do this. You see, we're still stereotyping each other. I feel like we are pressing on in our, in, our, in our life. And we're going to try to make Martin Luther King dream a reality that his fullest children, my fullest children, uh, great-grandchildren won't be judged by the color of their skin but by the content I carried it. I can do something about that still. Now, you also spoke on the, the conditioning of the black American and the self-loathing and self-hate that we've in, implicated on the race as a whole. How do we completely eradicate self-hate in the black community? A church is a good place to do it. A school is a good place to do it. Any collective group place where people gotta be. And I think what you're doing here with the media is a way of spreading that model. You gotta be intentional because uh, people will lead, lean to get with their own group. And so when you develop a multi-ethnic church, you are intentional looking at those groups and trying to win somebody like, like, like the president of the denomination wife was with her this morning and she was telling me about one of the churches that they were in in Florida and she was talking about it was 30 percent this and 30 percent that and about 20 percent but that's the kind of, that's what you're looking for so you heard it here from Dr. John Perkins himself be the change that you want to see in America ladies and gentlemen this is Demisa Moyo signing off of Ignite have a good day Thanks for giving me attention. If you like this enough, go to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Click that follow button. And of course, go to the LeeClarion.com website. I'm Demis Moyo. We'll see you next time.